anarchism. So it would be very, very, very difficult to kind of uh, explore the question by addressing uh, the variety of anarchism. One way of thinking about this question would be to think that there is anarchism that uh, embraces a collective aspect and an anarchism that embraces an individualist aspect. So that is, I would kind of hold these brands, but uh, sort of uh, there. But what is interesting is that despite of all the various brands of anarchism, what you you will uh, you will notice that there are two major principles. One is the principle of an anti-statist principle. Um, a lot of anarchists are against the state. All of anarchists are against the idea of the state. Uh, it's a movement or an idea or a concept or a practice that. Uh, attacks and sets itself against uh, the state for two for one primarily reason as I see it as I as I understand it um, and the primary reason is that the state whether it's represented by uh, this major representative is a sovereign or a, a president or in a parliament is that it has the monopoly of violence okay so that's kind of one of the uh, positions that anarchists find um, uh, that find themselves being against or uh, contesting. Yeah, I'm Nick Heath. Um, I'm in the Anarchist Federation. And, uh, I went through the, uh, the Young Communist League, which is the youth organisation of the, of the Communist Party. Mm. But I, w I was never really happy w with that because um, uh, I had profound disagreements about what I saw as a setup in in the Soviet Union. I believed in. In, in communism, but the sort of communism I wanted was a, a free communism, and I, I, I found it with anarchism. I, I, I came upon it by accident. I found some books on an anarchism in the um, the local public library, and I decided to become an anarchist. Mainly, democracy means that you you put a cross on a bit of paper every four or five years, and then. Uh, <laughs> Um, they do whatever they bloody like, break all their promises, mm. and um, basically um, that, that form of democracy is, is a sham. Um, what I'd like is um, sometimes it's known as direct democracy, or proletarian democracy, democracy, or workers' democracy, where th things are decided by mass assemblies mm. and people mandate. Um, delegates, he can be uh, recalled. Um, it would get given a specific mandate to perform something, and then federate on a on a regional, um, territorial, and international basis. Mm. Uh, I, I, I don't. I'm, I have problems with the word because it's co connected with this system, so I, I tend not to use it. Mm. But I mean, if you if it came to Pinch. I, I would use, you know, I would define. I would define it by. I would call it direct democracy. Anarchism, I, I guess, is against uh, the uh, unfair distribution of wealth. Uh, the distribution of wealth being in a very small percentage of monies of Occupy movement. I guess um, is that it made that kind of very apparent over the last. Um, uh, last two, two and a half years by saying we are the 99 percent. Why have I decided uh, um, to reject capitalism? Um, because I don't think it's... Um, um, anything about it is, is any good. It, mm -hmm. I, reject, I, I reject it because of, um, of everything it does, the way it intermeshes with other systems, that, the, the way it, uh, it supports um, uh, um, systems of racism, patriarchy, all of those things, and I feel it has to be destroyed. Yeah, propaganda, but by the did you probably know um, it's kind of an idea or a term that is uh, has been used in early art anarchism to uh, say that there in order to prove or to show that you are an anarchist you have to have a deed that do a, do a deed that uh, demonstrates your beliefs and early anarchism early 19th century late 18th to early 19th one of those dates that they used to 
do was to either bomb buildings, uh, but not just not. It's not the same as symbolic violence. It originally meant. Um, it did. I mean, nowadays some people um, translate it as propaganda of the deep, by throwing a, a bomb at someone. That's not the way it was meant to be. It, 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 what propaganda by the deep meant was that you did something, like you you, um, you did some sort of direct action, and that acted as a, as a propaganda to inspire other people to to act as well. That mm. you acted as as an anarchist minority to try to ignite a, a revolt. That I, I understand it in the original way, uh, as a, a, you, you act uh, and then you try to inspire people. Well, mm. I, I mean, there's the things going on now that you, you, you can see as, as examples of that, you know, mm. occupations, that sort of thing.